Hi guys, um, I'm doing something that I haven't done in a long time that would basically be casting a 2v2. Um, hitting control N does absolutely nothing in this case, unfortunately. So I'm going to go ahead and give uh, both sides their introduction as uh, <laughs> as they are now. And um, as you can see, the production tabs look going to be much heavier than usual to keep track of. But here we go. In the upper left-hand corner, we have a Pokemon by the name of Miltank. Yes, Wild Miltank has appeared. And to his side, it would be his teammate. His name is No Mistakes. Lower right hand corner, we have Enthused Sock. That looks actually just a little bit familiar. And all the way to the south, we have a player by the name of Anxiety. It looks like they are both a member of the same clan, not just casual friends playing on the ladder. <laughs> Excuse me. And, um,. Let's see behind this, what do we have? Everyone's talking right now. It's actually confusing the heck out of me. Um, they said flogged, so of course that means they are not playing. Well, of course, it's a bit of English that no one in America uses. Uh, both of us are, yep, NSW, aw, sweet. Um, they were also talking about the C server, but uh, this map, I have no clue what its name is. Of course, it does look like the north, excuse me, the 12 o'clock and the 6 o'clock position spawns would be, or not spawns, the uh, expos would be the most dangerous to take. They're, of course, rather exposed in the middle of the map, but it looks, this, you know, this map just resembles a teeny bit um, what you would see from Antigua Shipyard. We do have our Red Zerg going for an expo first opener, or so it would appear. Yes, there it is. Behind this, we actually have a speedling opener coming from Enthused Sock, and, uh, I don't know, let's just wait and see what we're going to have from our Protoss. Of course, the one thing that we're going to see from Zerg is the ability to put on some early-ish aggression, but I don't think it's going to be uh, game-ending in the near future. <clears throat> then again, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure, you know, we're going to see an aggressive opener from Zerg, from our blue Zerg. That's, that's what I can tell you right now. Um from Red Zerg, there's going to be at least a semi-defensive opener. Because, of course, he has to maintain his macro. And, um, you know, I mean, I think anytime, anytime a Zerg has a second base, it's more than acceptable to actually um, do something like this. <clears throat> but here we go. Another, it looks like a double... I wouldn't say double CC, but, well, basically, uh, a Rax first into a CC opener over here. This Expo is, of course, a little dangerous to take because it's rather exposed, as you can see. Banely Nest going down now for uh, Sock, and he's actually moving out with six Lings. Banelings accompanying that Zealot or any number of Gateway units would actually be quite dangerous. As you can see, we actually have no mistakes with um, a good deal of Marines, and as long as they connect correctly and appropriately with the Marines, um, they'll be good to go. One thing I appreciate from Miltank is he's actually putting one drone at a time on the uh, gas, not doing it all three at a time, but there we go. From this, he seems to just be droning up. It is natural, rather appreciable. And we actually have six Banelings in production right now. The only question is, like, where are things going to go from here? It looks like, I want to say those Banelings are actually waiting for uh, Protoss to catch up. It does look like it. They can see that a pylon is going to be placed down relatively soon. And this game could be over early, con contrary to my um, earlier expectations. Speedlings catching up. Here we go. We actually have the Roachworn and the Evolution Chamber coming down from Miltank. Rather respectable opener considering um, Roaches are actually better against Banelings than um, Marines. They're not light units. Okay. We have more and more Banelings morphing right now. So basically the goal of our Zerg is to break down the wall off over here and then proceed to go in with uh, behind this with some stalkers and there it is sick connections by the banelings will they get the marines it looks like they're gonna get one that's about it yeah speedlings catching up and really dealing with the marines appropriately um redlings going against bluelings but of course speedlings out do slowlings and of course there are some speedlings going down on the mineral line right here and the workers lost oh my god i had to see there it is i actually could not do it 
And mistakes, no mistakes actually calls out GG, with some mistakes being made actually. Kind of a pun, but yeah. There it is, GG, we know that you're better than us by the way. Sorry we couldn't beat you any other way, <laughs> pure luck. Oh my god, it's part of the game. These guys are kind of trolling, if you will. But, um, yeah. I don't know, that actually looks like a viable opener in 2v2, so he does still an honor Nox. No mistakes. Yes, more and more gateway units just kind of flooding in here, and there it is, GG. But of course, um, the barracks here are going to land, and I don't think we have uh, no mistakes actually giving up just yet. Well, he did, actually. He was actually landing both of his barracks there. It was like, okay, well, maybe he's going to try something, and um, he did. But... There it is. If you guys liked what you saw here, just go ahead and click on the subscribe button. I'll take more and more replays from Cast It and Cast Anyone that I can. This has been Breaker, guys. I'll see you next time.